I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I hope you're watching Cartoon Smut. It's called anime, and it's an art form. Steven would never say anything embarrassing. What do you mean? <laughs> no. Um, never. It's probably going to happen tonight. You, you like. Tell us a dad joke. <laughs> um, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good dad joke. I can, I can tell that Dick Van Dyke joke again. Not a, No, I already heard that one. It's I too know, late. I know. It was, it was so this is, uh, this is. This is the three Weebos. What is. Oh. <laughs> if this. Listen, if this, if this, if the name is, is not the three Weebo, Weebo, <laughs> fuck everything. Greedo is my favorite. Greedo, the three Greedos. <laughs> and so, we'll go to our Star Wars podcast. Oh, no. We'll time for you every no, week. hey, no, cro- no po- cross podcast can promote. Oh, uh, we Come always, on. we always talk about Star Wars, um, and the Star Wars anime that's incoming. Is it, I, is it no. does it not exist? No, it doesn't exist. I can't believe no. it. This is the three Weebos. <laughs> I'm your no. host. Co-host Ethan. I'm I'm the other I'm the other co-host. I guess Declan. Hi. I guess I'm more like a guest star. Steven. I mean, no, you're you're no, you're you're, oh. bon, you're the third Weibo. Yes. Okay. You are great. the third. You are the you are the you are one of the protagonists. I, you're I just am, the, you're just the last one. Yeah. So I'm the other co-host, Steven. Yeah. You're the one who's least likely to be here at any given time because you have a you have a new job. You just you just quit your old job and now you're doing what everyone should do when they quit their job is watching anime. Yeah, I do that anyway. But no, I, I think that's have what time. I think it's what George W. Bush is doing right now. Even though it's been like eight years <laughs> since his he's office. Hot hiding in the hills of Texas, just watching Strike Witches, and be like, <laughs> you know what? This is you know I, what? I I should legalize this. I, 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 I love this Lucani chick. You know, I like the part where her she's panties so show. adorable. I love the part where they slide down railings and not wearing <laughs> panties, so you know their p- vagina oh. juices <laughs> all over the place. Man, I I should set up br- broom flying camps across the states. <laughs> So this is fuck this library shit. <laughs> Pants are illegal in, in thirteen states now. This is oh. this is the three Weebos. No, I hope it's not. I hope by the time they're listening to this, it's not called the three Weebos. I hope it's, it's just it's two because one of us probably shot ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> we shot ourselves because we realized nothing could be better than what we just watched. Oh. We just watched um, art. Um, we it is an art form. You know, this anime stuff. Oh, that, that you could say that about anything. No, you can't really. No. Like, <laughs> like rocks aren't art. Hip hop isn't geographical. art. Geographical. So if you haven't seen the NWA, what's the movie called? That's the reference we're making. Straight Outta Compton. I think it's just called Straight Outta Compton. Yeah. That's what it's called. It's um, it's you, what you would expect. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's gonna be a masterpiece. <laughs> it's gonna be the greatest movie about that album ever made. <laughs> it, it, I mean, I'm sure there's documentaries about. Paul Giamatti plays a. The music producer. That's just again. good casting. That's the old, that's the best part about that movie. It's probably. true for 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 black people. First Ray Charles and now N.W.A. No whites allowed. Speaking of no uh, whites, uh, we just watched. <laughs> <laughs> we just watched. Oh, the segue game already <laughs> ridiculous. Episode one, Segway City. You know, Segway like, City eight oh eight. Eight oh eight. Speaking of rap, eight oh eight. But um, I, mm. that's a drum machine. So. Oh. Uh, we watched Cyber City 808. Ooh. And uh, it three times. It is a bona fide masterpiece. It is. I don't know what that means, but yes, it is. A, it's probably a masterpiece. Now I'm kind of glad I came into this never knowing the show existed. It's like yeah. you guys have already like you said you've seen it before se- years so ago. I thought I had seen it, but I guess I just watched okay. the first episode and fell asleep and then dreamt the last. Okay, it. that's so yes, I mean, basically sure. Yeah, that's and, counts. And, and my dream could not live up to the show we just watched. Like it's <laughs> it. Uh, for those of you who, who don't know, Cyber City Oedo is a Madhouse produced anime from the year 1990. The mm-hmm. long ago. It is the most 1980s thing produced after 1989. Yes. yes. Um, and it, it's great. It's pretty great. If you haven't seen it, we're going to get spoiler heavy. 
Yeah, this is a spoiler cast. So Everybody. you should probably leave yeah. right yeah. now. Yeah, skip, <laughs> skip to 39 minutes and 26 seconds. Skip to, twi- <laughs> skip to 24 years ago and watch this show when yeah. it's like, when you're supposed <laughs> no to be watching spoilers. it. No spoilers. Um, and it's a show about a, a future city, a cyber city, if you will, called Awaito. Set, it's, 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 set as in the, year as the name 2,808. Yep. Yes, they and, and they omitted the two because they figured it was obvious. What other what other millennium is it going to be in? You talk like about three, three. Is it going to be thirty eight oh eight? Are you fucking stupid? Yeah, are you crazy? That's way too. Far. That hasn't That's even way too yet. far. <laughs> way There's too not going to be cyber things in three thousand. There won't be things because the, the like we're gonna. See, it's basically the heat death of the universe. Like three thousand. Yeah, you, you, you can't things. relate to that far ahead. No, twenty eight oh eight is perfect timeline. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, back to the point. It, it it takes place in the year twenty xxx, and um, Mega Man. Did you wait, see wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! That's that's twenty thousand, whatever. Um, no, it's not. And it it's about three criminals who are they they are serving more than life sentences in prison. Three of the coolest. They just they they had to. They figured like we have to. We need new recruits. Let's just take the coolest criminals yeah. we have. Yeah. Which include an anime protagonist, <laughs> a dude with no eyes, yeah, and he's got a visor. Spoilers: He's got a visor thing, and then there's a lady who's a dude. <laughs> yeah, of course. And or a dude that's lady. It, it's it's your choice. Yeah, it's something. And uh, they she get, loves rose petals. He's also hardcore, but he's the best. Yeah, he's, he's the, the best one. He's the strong. Yeah, he's he's the most ass kicking one. Know. Uh, what he, oh, yeah, well, goggles. goggles. So Okay, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get so, to goggles. So, yeah, the Sengoku, the anime protagonist, goggles the guy with no eyes, and then Ben 10, alien force, <laughs> who is who is Genius. a lady. Who um, is a lady, boy lady. Making those references boy. 20 years in advance. Yep, it's they were way ahead of the time. Yeah. And they're, uh, speaking of being ahead of their time, it's pretty much Psycho Pass, because they're like... It's pretty much Blade Runner, though. When was Blade Runner? Blade Runner was 86. So yeah, so that, that came, that came yeah. before. Um, it's the most cyber city, cyber city, probably because it's called Cyber City. And But everything yeah. is just neon and a thousand stories tall. And gorgeous. It's pretty oh, cool. Oh, yeah, really, I mean, like that yeah. first, when it showed that first... Um, skyline, like skyline of the city, and then the it, city had fucking layers. Like, yeah, that was cool. And it keeps panning up, and you think it's gonna be a typical like city shot, but then it keeps panning up, and there's <laughs> this one building yeah. that just keeps going. And that takes it keeps through. going above the clouds, and the pan lasts like an entire minute. Should we talk about like the episodes in order now, or should well, let's just get? I still haven't talked about the fact that they're recruited, and then oh, they're yeah, working yeah, yeah, for the yeah. police. Uh, the, cyber police. the cyber police. The cyber police. police. Again, ahead of the time, before CSI got there. Uh, <laughs> and um, they are sp- trying to work off their life sentences by taking in criminals. And the more criminals they bring in, the more of their life sentence they get removed. Not important. That pretty much doesn't even factor into the story right. at all. Um, hmm. And they have these... To keep them in line, they have these, these uh, chokers, like collars... Yeah. That um, it's not like a choker at all. It's not like a, like a puka shell. <laughs> not necklace. nearly sexy. Enough no to be a choker. <laughs> and uh, if they go twenty four hours without making an arrest, I believe is the case, or completing their case, they I feel like the guy, the police guy, can just set the timer arbitrarily and like, then just you have 15, he can. You have fifteen minutes to get me a burrito, else your fucking head is <laughs> Yeah, no, he does. I need a when I'm snacky. I need a burrito now. I don't care who dies. I don't <laughs> care what kind of yeah. I don't care no, how you, many. But explosions. you know these guys are totally expendable though. Even though they're cool yeah, that's why that's why they brought them in yeah. is because they're expendable because they're like they're criminals. No one will care. Yeah, that's uh, um they're super cyber murderers or something. So. First episode, uh, I can't even remember. Well, it, well we, we covered like the first half of that first episode. Yeah, yeah. it starts it's just out with setting things up. And then they have to, they have to like, stop someone who's taken a bunch of people hostage in, in, this, in this large building that I just mentioned. It's, pr- it's, it's pretty much, if you've ever seen Chopping Mall... Oh, no. No, because that was... No. That, no, what? So if you've seen... If, if you've seen, seen a, a movie If before, you've seen the movie Cube... Uh, oh, I, okay. I can't follow you down. No, this. it's not. It's not cube. Have you ever seen System Shock? Just keep System throw, Sh- just keep throwing you, out things. Maybe it'll, ever, maybe it'll be like one of these things eventually. If you've ever seen Cyber City 080808, yeah, you exactly would know what we're talking like about. It's episode. like ninety nine percent just like that thing. We should do an episode on that. Uh, oh, that'd be good. So, uh, uh, someone, some hacker, has taken over a building and locked it down. Has taken the people inside hostage, mm-hmm. and are in is taken over a military grade laser satellite, <laughs> and is going <laughs> to just good. fuck shit up. <laughs> See, this is how you do space satellites right. I'm fucking looking at you, guilty crown. 
Oh. Uh, you got to explain what happened in Guilty Crown. See, that's the problem. I don't know. <laughs> All right, perfect. I have no idea. <laughs> this show. We'll do another it. episode on that garbage. <laughs> Fuck. Um, oh. And our protagonist this time it's anime guy. Uh, Shen, Shen Shenmu Toyota Suzuki San <laughs> Yosuke Hanamura. And uh, well, well, teriyaki. <laughs> Did I already say teriyaki? I don't know. Honda. Yeah, Honda Toyota uh, Civic. Wait, no. Uh, Kun. Oh, you like you like Subaru. And is his name? Subaru? They have to. They have to go inside the they have to Stop the hacker who's yeah. gigahertzing their database with RAM. Yep. And then it turns out that the person who's giga gigahertzing the database is a goddamn ghost skeleton. Wait, whoa. We just we just. Passed the whole thing here. I mean, did right. it? What else happened? Well, there was a well, guy. No, they sent in to get the one guy who they right, think right. is doing it. All right, so so let's right. go. Let's go back to protagonist man. All right, yes, protagonist. This man. guy is the coolest motherfucker. Nobody's not because he's not even the coolest person in the show. He's the, yeah. No. He's the most vanilla no, one. It, they start you off with peak he, cool, and then it gets even cooler from you're, there. You're right, but he's still the coolest motherfucker. I mean, it's like in in it. Like, if in, an, in another Justin, show, he'd be I mentioned the coolest this guy. While, while we were watching it, like in just the visuals and all the scenes that he's in, like. If just the visuals aren't enough to prove to you that he's the coolest motherfucker, the music they play every single time yeah. he does anything yeah. is the coolest fucking music. <laughs> oh, it's it's worth noting that like this show is incredibly artfully done, yep. which is out yeah, of place for anime. Yes, it's it's it has subtleties and it's 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 good. It's good. I like it. It's yeah, really I mean, it's well directed. Which yeah, is crazy. Which, which is to say, it has directing. Detail. Yeah, it's actually directed. Like there's there's cinematography for all intents and purposes you know yeah um and so cool guy who you think is going to be the hypest motherfucker on the planet gets shown up in the next oh by the way the cyber ghost they kill it and he kills it by <laughs> right, does yo, he does he punch it in the face still, what does he do you, he stabs it with his spiky thing oh yeah they okay, have batons okay. the, 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 yeah. you still yeah. missed you still like skipped a whole plot point here all right so well, really not- cool dude gets up to that <laughs> the top of that extremely high tower which is in fucking space. And it gets blown the fuck out later. And, and, you think that's the tallest tower? And the guy tower. that he has yeah. to save is, is, like, is actually the reason why any ever, uh, all of this is happening. Mm-hmm. Because he killed this ghost guy that's hacking the building mm-hmm. for, for a promotion or something. So a recurring theme is that people are, like, their work is results in their own undoing. Like, in this, in this episode, the scientist is killed because he's trying to get to a higher position of power, yeah. which is a very Japanese thing to do, I yeah. guess. Uh, and all that happens all the time. They're just yeah, fucking killing yeah, each other. How's work all today? Oh, I killed my boss again. <laughs> again. Now I, asc- now I ascend to the throne of McDonald's Zoo and manager. <laughs> <laughs> uh, s- I reign supreme. <laughs> uh, so the the guy um, he. Killed his boss, and then his boss somehow, some way, became he took over the security system. His his brain just landed on a hard drive, and it just kind of seeped in. Yeah, you know, sure, effectively. He's a, data. He's um, a skeleton ghost. Yeah, so he's a skeleton he's ghost. A cool who, skeleton guy covered in wires. Um, the coolest like '80s like shaded wires. Yeah. You see, all uh, over the place. I remember watching the first episode. I'm like, we can't get any cooler than this. And then you yeah, because of the climax of the first episode, is he stabs a ghost skeleton in the face while then, the building, which which oh yeah, we which is that. over like let's see, because they were like five hundred. It's stories, like it's like, like a thousand stories tall. Uh, yeah, I mean th- this, w- w- it's way over a mile tall. Starts tipping over, and yes. this is the building that's in the middle of the city. It's tipping over very slowly while hostages are oh. like falling around. And, and I want to say it's start- while. A space like the the satellite laser is aiming yes. at it, and I want to I want to say it starts tipping over like halfway into this forty five minute episode. Oh yeah, and it's still going like ten minutes later. Like it's taking so long to fall. It's over. taking its time, man. I don't know what to say. Like, but like, trying so, to harsh its buzz. We're I'm watching sorry, this, and, and, and one thing I said is like, this is already like the most cr- like the worst thing that could ever happen, and it's only the first episode. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I it's, it's got the. I think that has the widest scope of any of the episodes, though, in regards probably. to the city itself. It, yeah, well, it they, affects the they, most people. Yeah. Probably. It, well, they had to set up the atmosphere for the rest of the show. But like the rest of the show doesn't. They're more personal stories, which is well, kind of right, neat because it's already set up in the first episode. That, that stakes are high at all times. Yeah. Pulse pounding action. Yes. Um. Beautiful. No low stakes in Cyber City 080. Um. Yeah. yeah. Come. 
in the city of Cyber City. I don't know. Oh, horrible shit's cool. happening. Horrible shit goes down. Speaking of horrible shit, second it's episode. Like episode. <laughs> These segues are, but. My horrible, we mean like the best episode. It's, it's the, the best. best episode. It was the best it's, episode. It's, yeah. it's a straight, like, 10 out of 10 episode <laughs> of television. It's, really it's pretty good. much perfect. It's, uh, so the second episode revolves around Gagurus. Uh, Goggles, <laughs> who is the guy with no eyes. He's, he's cy, cy He has, clops. like, cyber eyes. Cyborg, man. Yep, think he's of like, Cyborg from Teen Titans. Yeah, yeah think, he's well, think super of like black. like, Terminator kind of thing. Well, he just, he has this visor. Goggles. Just like Terminator, except instead of being a Terminator, he just has robot eyes. So nothing yeah. like Terminator at all. Nope, he's just a guy. But he has we, symmetrical scars on his face for some reason. Oh, well, they're, it's are, cause they're cool. pretty badass. It is it's, pretty cool. It's super badass. Um, and... He is apparently, like, people know he's hype as fuck, and they go after him to test out a robot. Like, yes. that's the central, the central oh, plot yeah, line yeah. Because, the again, they are disposable, so they decide they need to test this fucking crazy robot, yeah. so they send him after this guy, because I, I don't know why. Um, it, and they send he's their the crazy experimental is. robot after him, uh, af- and they baited him using his ex-partner? Yeah, yes. partner in crime yes. slash thing. Not, are they in a relationship? I think they're kind of. I think he's his. She's his lady friend. I don't know. Sure. Uh, but I think it's assumed they did crime together back in the day. Yeah, I mean, usually I do crime with my lady friends. Yeah. So, yes. like, like, I mean, you, you do crimes to them. Or my love is so passionate that she'd be criminal. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not against the law, it should be. Uh, um, Looks like I gotta skip town again. I loved you too much. Now you ain't breathing. <laughs> Oh no, I've done it again. It's, it sounds like a dark episode of like X Files or something, where somebody is like their their pro- their their superpower is that they love to kill. Sure. Or they yeah. kill to kill with love. <laughs> uh, but so. You ever pet a dog too hard because you loved it so much? Oh, oh no! Wait, wait look, at is... <laughs> the rabbit. look at the rabbits. Look at the yeah, rabbits. Bur- Bernie. Yeah, I, I don't know. I it's not Bernie. Some, it's whatever. Ben, it's Benny. Not yeah. Um, what do you mean it's not important? It's a goddamn classic. What? I mean, we know it's important, <laughs> but like, it's it's not important. To the it's sense. not anime. <laughs> it's, it's not anime. So it's not art. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Anime is an art form. It's anime Manic, written by Mice John Manic Steinbeck. Manic yeah. Yeah. Steinbeck can eat shit. It fucking hack. <laughs> He's no Cyber City Oedo. <laughs> yeah. How many fucking cyborgs are in his shit? Nothing. Not enough. Zero. Cyborg count's way too low for my taste. Yeah, I don't. I don't read anything without cyborgs, so I can't. Yeah, no, I'm not. We have shit. friends who refuse to watch things based on what's in them. Uh, it's, like, just it's okay. They're all gone now. There, are, none of them are here. They're. I mean, they're still with us. With us, not like they're not dead, but like not yet. Well, I. I, re- I mean, oh, well, I almost refuse to like watch things that just seem so cool. I mean, wait, what? What? I mean, it's like you guys talk about like Kogias all the time, and how it's like the greatest thing ever. Because I it almost is. refuse it is the best thing to ever. watch it. Because I'd rather watch some, like, Moe High School. Shit. It's really funny because most people who start off, like... So, for those of you who don't know, which is everyone, Steven is, like, is just started getting an anime this year, like, the past oh, year or so. He start, I kind of started, like, senior year of high school. You are the greenest of all of us, though. Yeah, you, sure. you, you are the fresh-faced youth yeah. to the horrible world that is anime. <laughs> yeah, and he, he went through the entire, like, spectrum within the course of a year. Like, you, you did everything. You started out with, like, the manly classics, and now you're watching Is the Order a Rabbit? Yes. <laughs> and Strike Witches. You've just, you've completely bypassed, yeah. like, most of, like, the, the super shonen my, action my stuff. My first you show didn't watch was Evangelion. Shit. He, he watched, the most shonen shit thing you watched was Evangelion. Evangelion. Yes. Uh, which is truly the most shonen shit of all. But, Remember when Shinji's power level exceeds a million, and then and then he fucks that bitch, and then he f- <laughs> <laughs> that didn't happen. That's you tried to trick me. That's why I convinced him to watch this show. Is his power th- power level goes over a million, and then he fucks that bitch. And he just remember remember episode nineteen where Shinji goes on a fuck rampage and just impregnates everyone in the show. Wasn't that Dimey Dollar? <laughs> that <laughs> that, that um, was the human instrumentality tra- project. Yeah, use every His, human yeah. as an instrument to Shinji, to bear my child. Shinji, <laughs> Shinji puts the instrument in instrumentality. His instrument is his penis. He puts the mentality in instrumentality. <laughs> that makes no sense. That doesn't make any sense at all. It's because the girls that fuck him are mental. Actually, they are though. No, it's one I am. Welcome to the Evangelion cast. <laughs> no, we can't become this. It is I am putting. I'm, I'm here to. I'm, I am the okay. dam between. So we this watch this great show called Cyber City 08808. We're not starting over. 
Stop it. Let's continue okay. talking about yeah, episode we, two. Yeah, it's far too late to start over. <laughs> okay. We'll be even more punch drunk let's, in an let's hour. Let's continue back to episode two. We were talking about um, the robot. Now, all right, and when we all oh, the robots, so the cool. robot. All right, we don't have to summarize everything because this is a spoiler no, cast. Well, People know, have I, seen this, assumedly. I know, but and if let's, they haven't, let's what the fuck's wrong this? with you? Go watch it. I mean, we hadn't seen it You're until right, the night. Yeah. I know, but I we get to look down on people like now. Yeah, we, we can look. We can look down our noses now. Yeah, yeah, it's like we. It's like, oh, you haven't read Infinite Jests? What the fuck's wrong with I you, can, yeah, asshole? I haven't read that. David Foster Wallace, son. All right, it's so. a thousand five hundred pages of boring. Is it like a? Is it like a comic book? Yeah, dude, it's pretty much a graphic novel. Awesome. Yeah, it's I'll Batman. It. Batman punches Joker in the face at the end of it. <laughs> I love it when that happens. It's all happens all the time. But now, like, if you punch him in the face, you just cry a lot because it's Jared Leto. He, he just looks at his tattoos and goes, oh. I need more heroin. <laughs> <laughs> he gets another tattoo that says, Batman punched me on his face. Um, I got punched here. I hate his, Batman more than my dad. <laughs> which is really impressive because yeah, I hate my say, dad. Which is, in parenthetical, which is saying a lot. Because <laughs> I hate my dad I, a lot. I hate, I hate Batman more than I hate Trent Raznor. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> Dang and I hate you, Jimmy. Stop showing everyone my DeviantArt page. I hate you, Batman. <laughs> Batman hacked into my I DeviantArt hate, and posted I pictures. Trent Reznor oh, and short nails. I love nine inch nails. <laughs> I also I also love Cyber City Ueno. So there's the robot. It's oh, the coolest God. robot in fiction. I, I was just about to say this might be the coolest robot ever. Period. It's it's yeah. it. It it's has, cooler than the Terminator, and it's cooler than RoboCop. Not, the Terminator isn't cool because the design is cool. The Terminator is too cool because of what it does. Because he's Arnold yeah. Schwarzenegger. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. What he does is beat Arnold Schwarzenegger, and that's as cool as you can get. No, when they when they first showed this robot, like that's yes. when we knew we were in for some really good shit. Yeah, because it, 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 it was just, just coming out of the. It darkness. was yeah. It's just a yeah. shadow walking down a hallway, well, and so, it's terrifying. And the, then it does ESP. Yes, the yeah. guy's running. It shows this guy running, like terrified for his life. He you know he, yeah. he's up against. It's like a, a dead end. It's this big metal, like prison bar gate. Just a, g- a gate. Yeah, he's stuck yeah. in a gate, and, and you know he can't get out. And you see this like extremely long, me- you know, robot arm just sling and just grab like the gate. And this guy's terrified. And we're thinking like, holy fuck, what's going on? Then out of the darkness, like you see this robot that this arm is connected to, and you're just like, holy shit, S- Stephen, please, he's a cyborg. It's a cyborg. All right, I'm it's sorry, common, it's we have mistake. Yeah. All right. It's um, a really cool looking robot. Yes, super yeah. cool with like. It's like, got. It's got it's, um, see, it combines organic and robotic really wonderfully. And it's just like kind of gross and grungy looking, it's, like in every yeah. way. And it's 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 actually scary to look yes. at. It's it's, it's like it's, genuinely unsettling. Yeah. yeah, especially when the long limbs come out and it start. It's it's spooky. It's ridiculously yeah. fast and sudden, and you never yeah. see it coming. Yes. Yeah, and and it just is it's unfazed until it needs to do something, which is it's calculating. Yeah, it never it never walks unless it needs to. But yeah. every, every time there. it's animated, though, it's done just so well. Yeah. Every shot with this robot is incredible. Yes. Yeah. No. The the, the like every shot in the show, we should go out well, our way to say again, right. is yeah. beautiful because they have artists behind it. Um, so then the robot makes the guy explode without moving. Which yes. is hardcore. Which is when you realize, oh, this thing is a psychic robot. It's not only a scary-ass robot that looks really cool, it's, it's, it's magic. I was Second, really pleased how, um, like, paranormal and, fuck, uh, cyber, uh, sci- supernatural, yeah, supernatural and sci-fi what, this show was. Which you don't really see, all, at least I can't no. think of instances of that. Really, I feel before. like, I don't know, did Cowboy Bebop have magic? Not really. I don't know. Haru, he kind of did. That's not sci-fi. What do you oh, say? Come on. They're, they're, no, it's it's, sci-fi, it's it's like it's it's, it's very low sci-fi. Well, it's, it's, it's not cyber. It's hardly high is, sci-fi. Yes, it's like is. it's like comparing Game of Thrones to Lord of the Rings. It's like technically Game of Thrones is is fantasy because there's dragons and shit, hmm. but you don't really see them. Yeah, it's like mostly dudes just killing each other brutally and tits. Yeah, also tits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, look, t- and incest. Man, it's basically anime when t- you think about it. Yeah. Go, G- Game of Thrones is as close to being anime as you can be without being animated. While being live action. Yeah. While, while being good. Good. Oh. Maybe I should watch it then. No. Okay. Keep watching Moe shit. <laughs> um, so, you don't have to tell me twice. So yeah. I'll tell you about the show called Kinero Mosaic. This. Uh, mm. 
So episode three. Oh, but we should mention again the the person who created the horrible robot monstrosity, which is terrifying. Yes, he. Uh, he is done. He's killed by his own creation. Yes. But it it was goggles stabs him yes. in the face with the robot's arm, <laughs> which is great. Oh wait, he kills the robot by punching it in the. Yes. Face. I was I was gonna bring that up. This the best the best moment of this entire show, hands down. Yes, is is goggles is on his is on death's door. He's been stabbed in the stomach. He's all fucked up, and then. He, he he like he grabs this giant metal bar and I don't even remember why he did that at this point. It was the, the metal steel steel, this, metal. steel beam. beam. And he's dragging it along the ground and you're like, what it's is he going to do? And then he just charges at the robot and punches it so hard that it explodes. <laughs> Which I jokingly made. I jokingly said, like, "What if he just punches it in the face?" And then he does it, and it's better than my wildest it's, dreams. It's like the yeah. most well animated punch, and he does like four of them in a row, and yeah. they're all slow motion. Because they could have just done one, but there's four different punches, and then you get three angles on the final punch, which is amazing. It's like it's quintessential anime without being cheesy. Yeah, it's great. It's so satisfying. It's a delicious it ending is. to that episode. Yeah, um, it definitely is. So the third episode is. Um, <clears throat> vampires. Vampires, it, but again, it's it's, it's sci-fi good. vampires. It's like yes, they give they give sci-fi reasons for why this vampire yes. is a vampire, and which is uh, a cool way to do that. Yeah, yeah it, it has, actually this, made sense. This has directing and writing. Fuck. Yeah, it, it's almost like anime it used to be really good, and but now I just it's like no, it used to be terrible. It's just that everything's been filtered out, and this is the one thing we remember. Yeah. It's like this and Gunbuster are the 80s. <laughs> so it's like two delicious yeah, slights. It's like everything off. else in history. I mean, dude, those people can eat shit, I guess. What about, like, I don't know. What about Gundam? I don't know. You heard me. Okay. <laughs> Everyone knows Gundam. Um, Gundam. Um, so this is why I knew about this show, because this is the episode with the famous line from the dub. Yep. We didn't watch the dub. No. But in the dub, instead of saying a bunch of techno babble, he just says something about you wouldn't know a vampire if it bit off the end of your dick. We well, probably should have watched the. They dumb. Didn't say it like we could. That. We could. We yeah, could. yeah, he, uh, you, you wouldn't know a goddamn vampire if it bit you on the tip of your fucking dick. <laughs> he says it like that, even though he looks like a lady. Yeah, he says yeah. Yes. Um, again, I when we were first watching this, I had seen this before, but like in a fever dream, and. Uh, I'm like, so I, think there's a, I think there's a lady in the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were telling us, like, wait, where's the lady? Oh, here she is. And then it's like, hi, I'm... I'm, I'm Ben 10. I'm Babylon. Ben, I'm, ben 10, I'm right? Ben Tennyson. I'm going to go fuck my hot cousin. What? That's what happens in Ben 10. Okay. He doesn't fuck his cousin in Ben I mean, 10. They, it's implied. No, it's not. <laughs> this is, that's your head cannon. Okay, fine. It's, you can't uh, just... I'm a Ben 10 kin, so it's... Ugh. Don't talk about my head cannon like it's not reality. <laughs> Um, so the third episode is vampires, sci-fi vampires. Well, one vamp, well, I guess there's two. So I would pause it, follow me here. The third, you. the third episode is not as good as the second episode, but the protagonist in the third episode is cooler than the second protagonist. Episode three is a lot less action focused. It's a lot of talking about yeah. the stars. Which is and, neat. And I guess life, um, mortality. And vampires. It's almost vampires. Like, it's almost like he's more feminine. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. No, why? Just because he likes sprinkling rose petals around wherever <laughs> he goes. And he fucking has painted nails and lipstick. Three three inch long painted nails. Yeah, and glorious hair. Oh, glorious. just glorious hair. So, David Bowie. So big. Jealous hey, of this. David Bowie in Labyrinth has nothing on this. David <laughs> Bowie in Labyrinth, by the way, go look it up. He looks. His hair looks like Naruto's hair. Awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. David Bowie jutsu. <laughs> that's um it i uh, make this joke make this naruto joke right now I'm not make, gonna... this, make this naruto reference i want to hear it what babe what, <laughs> what? <laughs> the babe with the, the babe with the power the power of jutsu god damn it. that's all i had <laughs> if you believe it right. uh labyrinth is a great movie go watch it no jim henson masterpiece um yeah so this one i forgot what happened in it other than Homeboy slices off a lot of arms with his baton. Yeah, no, he has this like cheese wire that comes out of his, his cheese baton. wire. <laughs> that's, right. I think that's, that's what it's referred to. I don't know. Sure, well, that's what I referred it to. Or piano wire. Sure, yeah, it's piano really sharp. Yeah, he, yeah. he just cuts this everything. Shit. He straight gangsters that shit. Like fucking early, early turn of the century gangster. Did they ever uh, explain why that saber tooth tiger felt like it needed to enter hypersleep? It has a laser in its mouth. It has yeah. a laser in its mouth. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> it, I mean. <laughs> Fuck, man. 
future is going to be so awesome. You, you don't question the laser in its mouth, but you question why is he there. I mean, you just have why to accept it. Why are any of us here, Stephen? Why are any of us here? just have I to mean, accept I it. I can accept that you'd want to put a laser inside a saber-toothed tiger. Yeah. I want to do that. I've yeah, wanted to do right. that my entire life. <laughs> why would you need to put one into chrono sleep? In these catacombs. Just... Maybe I... they only had one laser. And they had to like, oh, we got to keep this. Gotta keep keep this it safe one. inside this saber-toothed tiger's yeah, mouth. Yeah, it's like, oh, I hope this doesn't malfunction one day and just start shooting this effeminate cheese wire wilder man. <laughs> <laughs> cheese wire cyber police. <laughs> Uh-huh. That's wouldn't that suck? Yeah, that'd be a terrible. What? It's, but the dude had a like nobody else really used the cheese wire except for him, right? I think no, his I, was unique. I don't well, think anyone I, else had. I it. think everyone had like a unique. But no, none, none of neither of the other two used theirs for anything. It's because they're so badass that they don't need it. No, in the first one, the guy stabs the skeleton with his baton. Yeah, like, no, but yeah. but he doesn't have any unique powers in his. Doesn't he? I thought. I don't remember. The, the, the baton gets a lot of use when in the third episode. Kill they put, a robot they put the... with your fist. Why do you need a baton? Yeah, you, I don't yeah. think the fem- why even give him one. I don't, I don't think Ben Ten is going to. Um, oh, moving stuff. Sorry. Yeah, I don't think Ben Ten has the muscular strength to. Punch Have you anything. seen Ben Ten, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah, dude. Like Alien Force is the good season. Oh. That's when it really gets you because. Because then they start getting into intergalactic politics. I want to separate myself from this right now. I regret even... Men- I've never seen Ben 10. I've never I seen Ben 10. I, 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 I regret Benton. implying that I have. Can we call him Benton for now? So I've, never, I've never seen Ben 10 either, so I really don't know. But um, it it gets a lot of play because they put poison in... Or the antidote. I guess it's yeah. not a poison. The antidote to the vampirism... Uh, disease yes. that this lady had. We didn't talk about the lady. There was oh, yeah. this gloriously 80s woman in the, oh, in the yeah. episode. With even bigger hair. Yeah, uh, which is a, a miracle. Her... her hair is taller than the buildings that they're on. Yeah. This build, by the way, there's a space elevator. This episode has so much shit going on. Yeah. <laughs> there's so much, yeah. There's really so much world building. Yeah. If you want to be an architecture in this time, just say, let's build tall shit. Just, you're not and even, you're, you're not even, hot. You got the job. You're not even a real architecture. <laughs> Um, <laughs> <that> was, <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> this is what everyone th- Stephen is what everyone thinks when they hear something. I remember that. Yeah, I get that. I understand that joke. It's good. It's a good I joke. It Joss Whedon here so writing much. fucking jokes for the next Avengers movies. <laughs> um, we are a bunch of misfits. <laughs> Speaking of misfits, Cyber City 080. Jesus Christ, We're, we don't need to. You don't need to bring it back. We're already there. I just just saw the segue there. It was so smooth. You don't have to take every possible segue. It's just... Because then you never know when you're going to get You've got to leave some alone. No. Oh. Um, Segways were not... Speaking of leaving things alone... God damn it. (laughs) There's a a head vampire uh, who infects this miraculously 80s woman... As a a test subject for this immortality uh, virus. And then he kills her by biting her again? Yeah. Yes, he sucks all the blood. But but yeah. she's still alive, and then gets shot yeah, into space. Not yeah, yeah, yeah. she was still alive at the end. But yeah, they they she she doesn't want to. No, it's important to know alive. that. No, this this woman is like five hundred years old. Yeah, and she doesn't want to live forever. Looking good for five hundred though. Oh, absolutely! Like, I'd bang her. Just saying. Um, Thanks, Steve. I'm offended. <laughs> yeah, I turned this fucking podcast. For five, I I've never met a five hundred year old I'd bang, but sure, she was fine. Um, I mean, that's probably true, I guess. You're right. You, 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 Shoot. Most of, you the one, the, most of the ones I meet are in the bottom of grave sites. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But anyway, she just wants to be put back in, like, her sleep. Forever. She no, she, wants to, she, she wants to die. She wants but, to die. But then they don't let her die. They just send her off into space. I don't know. Sure, <laughs> whatever. Cruel motherfucker. Back, back into cold sleep. I yeah, mean, it's yeah, cold it's in space. Like, it's true. Yeah, you know, he's might maybe she's like she might wake up one day, but it'll be a long time. She's floating through space. And now she's venturing with the stars. Okay, this is bothering me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this two liter of brisk into this trash can across okay. the room. Ready? Kobe. I'm going to Kobe it. <laughs> didn't work at all. Okay. okay, continue. Now you listeners could not see that, but it didn't, didn't no, they it went it. in, it was perfect. It was amazing. Okay. Three pointer. It, it was glorious. It bounced off three walls. Um <clears throat> so she shot in the space and then the series just kinda ends. Yeah, they're just kind of three self-contained stories about these people in this this crazy yeah. cyber world. I'm very excited for the upcoming sequel to Cyber City 0808. Madhouse is, <laughs> yes, Madhouse's new Kickstarter. 25 years later, uh, they're, they're going to reboot it. Um, this is the, the the end of Cyber City 0808. It's the movie they're working for. <laughs> its length is longer than all the, the parts combined, and it's going to be glorious. It's, it's 
It's gonna be great. And it's gonna look like shit because it's modern anime. Yeah, just no shading. Yeah, it's gonna be completely flat. It's not, they're not going to redline. Oh, by the way, the director of this was a uh, fun factoid. Ooh. Director of this was We're going to a... need music for this segment. <laughs> Ethan's fun Hold factoid on. Give, minute. Give me a hum, Steven. Do, do, do. That's a now hum. you're just overpowering me with your loudness. So the, the director of this was an animate. He was the lead animator on Redline. The lead animator or just a key animator? He, oh, key. He, I guess he's a key animator. Yeah. So he's nothing then. He's completely irrelevant. <laughs> Way to take that away from him, Tech. Hey, he's still, he's, still, he's still around. It's been like 40 years since he, he started out, so I'd say he's doing all right. Started in 70... 76? 76? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, Too lazy to look up his name. Yep. Uh, you can find him. He was around. Yeah. You, you know who he is. We don't have to tell you. You already know. We're not going to spoon feed you this super important animator's name. People are going to think we're such elitists. You keep talking shit about modern anime. 90% of our episodes are going to be about modern anime. And I like, but 90% of the stuff I like is modern anime. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, I just want, you just, you're giving people the wrong idea. You people, just acted so high and might as, oh, this is new anime. It's a no character. No shade. Where's the hair? There's not enough hair. I don't know what's meanwhile, there. meanwhile. Well, when, you, when you set your standards to beautiful things like this, it's hard to Yeah, this, mm. but this ain't shit compared to Kindo <laughs> so right. what's the point? Oh, boy. We'll have another whole thing about that. No, we won't. <laughs> it's me defending <laughs> taste against your Kindo bullshit. Dude, li- there's horses. I like that show. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Um... Yes, Cyber City Oedo. I took down notes of things we didn't mention. Okay. We want to just quick points about this, about the show we hit want me, to run over. Hit me with the quick tips. Okay, bad robot voices. Oh my <laughs> fucking God. Oh my God. Oh my God, I managed to block that from my mind already. Yeah, all the, all the robots. It. Like, the some, thing we some, hated the most about this show, we completely forgot about somebody, it. Somebody thought like, okay, how should these robots talk? Well, it should just be a person talking in a completely monotone voice like this. And then they thought like, okay, that'll work fine. And then they realized that these robots have like lot of lines yes yeah. and they just do it forever i am talking like this and i'm gonna keep talking like this for the rest of the show there's this great shot of this <laughs> of this of this robot talking in that voice just really monotone really irritatingly and he's standing on the edge of a cliff looking out over this he's beautiful water. like city lit bay at he's, nighttime he's pensively like he's admiring just, the sight yeah staring out at the horizon and it's just I don't know, it's data, blah, blah, blah. It's days like these that I really appreciate the <laughs> beauty of the world we live in. <laughs> and then it, and then, and then the shot fades out and he's still talking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I will, I will always love you, Ben Ten Kun. <laughs> the thing is, he's so loyal, he just stays there. And, and he, I mean, he, he's a he, robot. <laughs> Obviously inspired by Robot Cop from, uh, from Rotor. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah, all right. Just, what? I go quit. Watch, go watch Rotor, I guess. If you can find it, man. Yeah, that was a pain. Um, mm. you, you, you purchase that legally through whatever means. On you, yeah, I purchase it on your favorite movie purchasing website, YouTube.com. <laughs> Visit YouTube.com now for the greatest movie deals. Lion, Lion King part part one of nine, best quality, 480p, 1999, <laughs> 480p, 360p, whatever. 360p compressed to all hell and beautiful it's like, 720p quality. And then the image is flipped it's it's upside Arab. down, so you have to you have to turn your monitor upside there are, down. There are Arab subtitles <laughs> over over top of faces. <laughs> yeah, and then and then like all of the original music is ripped out and replaced with Hindi. Yes, it should. Um, is Hindi a musical genre? No, Hindi's a, a language. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> um, oh, the music's been replaced by language. Okay. They're just talk, people they're talking. So, the circle of life. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but in Hindi. I get it. Um, I okay. can't wait to be king. Are you ready for more quick tips? These aren't yep, tips. quick, quick tips. Great explosions. Awesome oh my god, explosions. the best explosion. I, just, everything looked great. You guys might not show. know this about me. You too. I'm talking to yes. my co-host. Yeah. I love explosions. There's two things I like: explosions and water. And when they're combined, yeah. whew, don't get me started. A good well anime explosion. Call of Duty Black Ops, great explosions. Oh, great Vietnam explosions. Oh my god. Yep. And great, well, really well animated gore and and just computer oh, yeah. parts. Holy fuck! The vampire who gets ripped to bits. Yeah, you can see all his stuff. In, floating in space. Yeah, that I'm, happens. I'm surprised how much gore and like how much detail is what, what was. Well, you've seen Akira. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. ending of Akira oh, is yeah, yeah, just yeah. a mound of muscle. Yeah, it's just every. Yeah. But it's like to that level, though, like the gore. It was really good. It looks really yeah. good. And I would, I would posit that it looks better like, like than in, the stuff in Akira, even. Mm, like in, no. uh, not that. Far. No, but, but like. No, no, no. 
Akira is the best animated thing ever. No, it is the best animated thing ever. It looks mm. at least it looks almost as good as that. Yes, it looks really. It's good. like in the second episode when that when that robot blew up the guy's body. Yeah, like you saw everything just ripping to shreds, and oh, it was yeah. super cool. Oh, Akira is the other. That's the third eighties thing. Yeah, yeah so we're gonna we're totally gonna think of more. Like you're gonna feel like an idiot after saying there's only three good things from the eighties. I mean. You can try to make me feel like an idiot, but I won't. All right, I will. <clears throat> I'll continue. Um, yeah. What, what are your other quick tips? Great explosion. Um, let's see. I love the 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 trope of when there's a guy in the future and everything's all futuristic, but he's really cool, so he uses an old-fashioned gun. Yes. So main the guy in the first episode, he just has this a this, this, this yeah this revolver forty five with a scope. Yeah. yeah, and that's what he uses. What else? With, uses? with a with a but it has a fingerprint scanner. Yes, it's fi- yes. That's well, the, that's that, the isn't that hype? That's, that's cool though. That's, that's cool really thing. cool. Though. That's official stamp of approval. For, official yeah. uh, three weeaboo stamp of approval on the idea of retro three, three weeaboos. I thought it was three the, weebos. The three weebos <laughs> uh, retrofitting guns with things from the future yes. is hype. It is the best yes. of both worlds. It's all the cool stuff from old guns, but it's the the, yes. fun, the good functionality of new guns. Yeah, really and actually, these. it actually works in the story. Yeah. yeah, totally. Like revolvers that not that this this has it, but like old revolvers that explode. <laughs> I've seen this before with like exploding shots because it's in the future. Yeah. That's hype. Just yeah. take a Colt forty five and retrofit it. What other what, what what other properties that are set in the future do you guys like they're too stubborn to use? Oh, it was Ghost in the Shell, that's what I was thinking yes. of. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. guy uses an old gun. Or was it the major that uses an old gun? I don't remember. You know, yeah, it was it was it was um There's something like that in there. Boat go is it Goto is that the character's name? Goto. We're gonna like we're sure. real idiots. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we know a lot about anime guys. What do you know? Um. None of us have seen a Ghost in the Shell outside of the original movie, right? No. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. It's on my. It's on my list. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The standalone complex. I haven't even seen the so, movie. What really? Ghost You're not in the there. Shell? I, I guess not. Yeah. Hmm. It's real good. Watching it. Yeah, watching it on your own. You. Scrub. You fucking idiot. It's excellent. Um. But um, yeah, like what other properties do that? I guess like I don't know, but I love it when it happens. Yep, it's good. <laughs> it's cool. All right, blinking screens all over the place. Oh, oh. eye scorching white flashes. So in Japan in 1990, no one gave a fuck about people with epilepsy. Yeah, you yes. you, you get you got epilepsy too bad. You roll on the floor for a little while while we, while we eat rice balls. Like just yeah, fuck and you. We'll, maybe we'll like, force feed you one if you're if you're lucky. Even yeah, went we'll, to we'll the keep, really we'll force one in your mouth to keep you from swallowing your tongue. Yeah, he even went to that the really happen, bad like yeah, not. red and blue flashing lights oh, that yeah. like Pokemon did that guy. It is banned. it is like literally the Pokemon even <laughs> yeah. more severe because it's yeah because it, it goes on for ten minutes sometimes <laughs> and. Every every screen in this show is constantly blinking. Yes, if there's any yeah, kind it's of to a let, screen, I don't it's... know if it's to let you know, hey, this is a screen or what, but every literally every uh, computer screen constantly headache blinking. Headache inducing is and flashing as fast as it can. Are those is would you guys say the only two problems with this show are those like little niggling, but really obnoxious things of the voice and the flashing? I got more stuff here. Oh, you got more negative stuff? Um, I don't know. I can't tell. We'll see. Okay, it's, hit it's me subjective. up. Hit me up with quick tips. Okay, are we are we, are we still going? Yep. Okay. Uh, when their computers get hacked, the screens all say "kill you" <laughs> over and over again. That had That's... to be a translation error or something. No, well, no, not, I mean it's, it's not no an error. Setting. It's, it's, yeah, it's not. Oh, okay. It's not the subtitles. It's actually that's what that's how it's saying. Oh shit! Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, J- they, they Japan, do that. Yeah, Japanese computers like English. I guess I don't know. At least back all right. then. Next, next quick tip. Just kill you all over the place, though. Okay. Um, I just wrote I. I wrote down, I wrote fucking skeletons out of nowhere. What is that? Oh, that, is that the what? first episode where the guy is... Was that it? Were there other skeletons? No. Okay, I guess yeah, that must I, have been that it. Doesn't even I don't know. To me. I guess, the, I guess the, the, there's a character that gets returned to being a skeleton. At the end of the third episode. Yeah. Uh, the oh, which is really been... fucking good. Kind of like yep. a Last Crusade kind of thing. Yep. Um, I like how, the, the, the back to the robot, like the robot's like really, obviously robotic it, it's very like by the books following protocol but he still just argues with it yeah. and still yes. kind of gets his way it's just like it tells him he can't drink and he's like ah it's fine i don't know <laughs> like this guy has a, a cool cop he's, guy he's so cool that he doesn't even care all right thanks siri apparently siri is fucking oh god off. siri siri hears us talk about robots she's like hey man <laughs> i'm right here uh Go to sleep now, Siri. She's um, smothering her with a pillow right now. Oh whoa. God, it's horrifying. I was, I was. Oh God, put your pants back on. Siri, remove. Just ruined my train of thought there. Um, <laughs> robots. 
arguing with the robot. Were we oh, talking? so the, the the robot who can't stop talking. Yeah, yeah. He just like his his programming doesn't have a stop talk fun- function. <laughs> Uh, he, he never stops. Pilot, and and the, the protagonist robot. is so cool that he's going to drink, even though it's against the rules, despite having a necklace that will blow up if he does something stupid. Yeah, he's like, so casual, even though he, he could he could be disposed of at any second. This is actively threatening his life to reduce his like ability to function. Like, if he doesn't get the bad guy, he will die. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That's as cool as it comes. Yeah. Drinking's cool. cool. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We gotta do more drunk casts. We're yeah. stone cold sober right now. Unfortunately. Yeah. Oh. Um, we don't drink. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, of course not. Well, no, never. Floods. Don't drink. Kids. We're talking about Mountain Dews, right? Yeah, I was. I need some delicious Mountain Dew brand <laughs> beverage. My, my body is a temple. So this episode brought to you by Pepsi presents Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call it. <laughs> yeah, it's written right on the book. Pepsi presents a a a, a Dew joint Mountain Dew. <laughs> For beats produced by Dr. Dre. <laughs> this will be on Detox. Beats by Dr. Dre is my favorite favorite headphones. They will um this will the, the new Mountain Dew feature will be on Detox, which will come out some someday. I can't wait. Then, okay, whatever. That, that joke <laughs> whatever, it fell flat. I'll, I'll fix it in post. Music jo- fix it in post. Dr. Dre jokes. Yep. Just throw an audience laughing in there somewhere. <laughs> um yeah. I got more I got more notes. You got more notes? Quick tips. Okay, Psychopaths probably took a lot from this show. It's probably. Or maybe it's all from Blade Runner, I don't know. It, no, I've seen Blade Runner. The okay. same Blade Runner. Blade okay. Runner is more disgusting. Like, like slummy cities well, and I stuff. Would, there's not as much body explosion in Blade Runner. A lot like, of body explosion. It's, it's right, grimier. It's grimier. We didn't see a lot. Oh, well, you're right. Like, we didn't see a lot of like street crime or anything. Or, or future drugs. Stuff. There's no future drugs. Yeah. Hmm. While, like... Um, well, that movie had just, like, a lot of that. Blade Runner... Blade Runner was prostitution like, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, that showed a lot of, like, the, the scummy... It's street-level crime. Street-level crime. Can, can, yeah. Now, this was, like, government... You know, this show was, like, government crimes and stuff. Conspiracies like, yes, and whatnot. Yes, conspiracies. Um, uh, yeah, and... Psychopaths. Let's, let's go right now. Things what that did, Psychopaths did, took. I, I forget now. Okay. There's the... Uh, the idea of criminals being, like, working with the police force, because they're expendable. I mean, that's old. Yeah, sure. That's probably, I'm, I'm, that's probably a Western film that did that. I'm that seemed, sure. That, like, and then it turns out he's a good guy at the end or some bullshit. Probably, yeah. I don't <clears> know. Um, that seems like a common thing, though. Um, they're the entire aesthetic, I guess? Sci-fi? Yeah, sci-fi. I think that's just oh, yeah. It's invented I'm, sci-fi. This, there was I'm more. Like, Cyber City oh, Oedo. What about, was it the... The the people being a part of a machine again that's been around, yeah. Hmm. And now it's all falling apart. Every yeah, this it, theory this theory might be. It's confirmed that the thing. butcher is is a is a hack fraud though. I mean that's you know, we don't need to look at psychopaths to to figure that out. Yeah, you just have to work at his, look at his body of amazing work, which consists of two good things. Yeah, like three good things. I, I mean, I've only seen the two. Oh well. Um, yeah, you know then, man. You know. Steven. The Butcher wrote Madoka. Madoka, for people who care Madoka. about it. Madoka. Okay. You how, guys see Madoka? Yeah, I, I, so, is it... I just roll over the O. Madoka. Yeah, like, yeah, it's Madoka. So, people say Madoka because they're idiots. Because they pronounce it like it looks... Madoka. 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 It's Madoka. Whatever. Madoka people, is a good people, show. people are idiots. Yeah. Um, oh, the other thing we think might have stolen from this is Spider-Man 3. Yeah. <laughs> the greatest, the yeah. greatest film of all time. The Sam, Raimi, Sam Raimi's true masterpiece. Fuck Evil Dead 2. It's <laughs> all about Spider-Man 3. Can I, we, wait, Doug, I, 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 I will never understand your love for Spider-Man 3. So don't listen to me. How can you not understand it's it? It's a terrible great. film. Listen, it's the no, worst no, no, Spider-Man film. It's listen. one of the worst films. It's not the worst Spider-Man film because Amazing Spider-Man 2 exists. It's the worst of the trilogy. Of the same okay. Raimi trilogy. I, I mean, yes, you're right. Thank you. You're right. But when your movie series consists of a 10 and an 8, <laughs> like there, it's not that hard to fall underneath that. So like a solid 7 out of Spider-Man, Spider-Man 3. Spider-Man 3 is not a 7. Spider-Man 3 is... is... Spider-Man 3 has like two, one good scene, and the none rest of it, it just everyone looks miserable, and just none, nothing is good about it, and it's boring. Oh, I love this pie. This pie is so good. So good. But so the. Good. I, the only bad things about that movie are the are the bad guys. all the subplots. No, the only bad things about that movie <laughs> are, are the, vi- the villains. 
The villains are which not is, good. Almost all of it. Which is a significant portion of the film, of the, oh. of the two hour and 40 minute running time. And the rest yes. of it is just a terrible, like... Rom-com. Dr- dr- yeah, no, not rom-com. Rom-drom. Rom-drom. Drom-drom. 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 Dramedy? No, it's not comedy. Don't forget that this film, the budget for Spider-Man 3, was almost as high as all three of the Lord of the Rings movies. Combined? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yes. Why is it so Combined. much better than those movies, though? I know. It's bullshit. <laughs> Um, uh. So yeah, Spider-Man Three took from this the idea of um, of something being weak to, to sound, s- sound. But but it's very that scene is so similar. Like because Goggles is fighting crazy robot, and it's it's like he's climbing up this tower, which is really cool, by the way. Oh, and the, so thing, and the thing is blowing apart the tower all over the place, and then he he makes a clanging sound with the construction materials, and which it, and it happens starts malfunctioning. Spider-Man. It's exactly what happens in Spider-Man. Yeah. Um, it's freaky. And I'm sure... It's kind of like a last resort attack, too. It's like, I'm probably going to die if this doesn't work. Yes. I have not read the, the the original black suit Spider-Man run in a while now. It's been like three or four years. I can't remember if it's exactly like that in the... Oh, when would that have been written? That would be Ditko era, so probably like... Uh, black suit was introduced in the 80s, so it's probably the 80s. Oh, man. Who, I know oh 70s. What do I think? It's who, 70s. Cl- who claimed first? Secret Wars was like 76. Secret Wars. I'm going to get blown the fuck out by people who know about this shit better than me. Yeah, it's but gonna, I, that implies that anyone's going to listen to this. It's fine. You're fine. Okay, we're cool. <laughs> Don't worry about I'm it. Sorry, Stan Lee, and even though you were not working in it at that point. But um, I maybe that's how it was in that. Fucking whatever. Maybe this stole from Spider-Man for all I know. Maybe this thing had no influence at all, and we're just deciding it this because we think it's good. <laughs> yes. Maybe we think this is some it's kind only, of. It's something to talk about. It's like how things get labeled as influential because they're because people like them. Like it, like not. how is unknown pleasures by by fucking Joy Division really that influential? Other than people have that T-shirt. <laughs> it's right. that T-shirt's pretty pretty influential. Sure, but like what like what did it really influence? How the fuck would I know? I haven't even listened to it. You- it's, it's really sad. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it called Unknown Pleasures, then? Be- because I guess there's pleasures in there that I don't know about. What's that new <laughs> Young Lean album yeah. called? There's <laughs> some pleasures I don't know about, because that album sucks. <laughs> I, I listen to it. All right, I don't know where the pleasures are. I just, they, they're it's they're unknown. up to its name. It's, uh, you, will, you will know them if you do heroin. Oh, now I get it. Yeah, um, or, or like uh, Velvet Underground. Never yeah. mind. Fuck that. Uh, no, Pet Me- Sounds. Music. Pet Sounds is influential. Why? Maybe it influenced their later stuff. I mean... But their like, later stuff sucks. I like their earlier Smile stuff. Sessions was after Pet Sounds, right? Pets, yeah, but Smile Session didn't come out. Well, you're right. It never it didn't. But it was recorded after, right? Music Talk with, with the three Oebos. <laughs> it's perfect avenue for this. It's great. Um, Good stuff. Yeah. It's great. I could be wrong, though. Cyber City's great. Yep. The, la- the last thing I have here is very casual vampire conversations. When they first get yeah. introduced oh, to the yeah. idiot, hey, hey there's, a, there's a vampire running around. They're just like, I guess we better shoot it with a silver bullet. It's like, no, you got to stab it with a wood thing through its heart. You don't just like, dick about vampires. And they're not even joking. It's, uh, yeah, and it's like, you wouldn't even know. It's, I mean, it's, a, it's a future, like... And they Every, just they just fought a, a fucking biological monstrosity that was in a machine suit. Like it's been so many hundreds of years. There's probably been tons of vampires. There's so much stuff happening. There's probably oh, werewolves too. Yeah. Ne- for the next three episodes of Cyber City Awaitle that'll ever come out, what would you want to see? I want to see werewolves because they already did vampires. Yeah, they gotta go the werewolves. That'll totally be much Un- better. Unique and totally different. That'll be yeah original. Yeah, great. Uh, 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 aliens. Uh, gotta do aliens. Yeah. Yeah, um, I like to see them all work. I mean, they all work together in all the episodes. But I mean, in each episode is just focused more on one character than another. But like, they don't really do fuck all in the like the other two. It's really they might as well not even have the other two characters in the episode. You're right. Like, what do they contribute anything meaningful? You're right. Except they, for in the in the second episode where uh, uh, Shonen protagonist man <laughs> uh, flies in the helicopter to save homeboy. Right. Yes. Like, other than that, they never really interact in any meaningful way. Yeah, they're just kind of watching. Turns out this show sucks. Fuck, (laughs) dude, you're right. My world is falling apart. My world is built atop Cyber City Oedo now. It's a dangerous road to take. Yeah, because you have to live for 800 years. My reality is being unwound. Yep. 
Hmm. I be, we'll shed this mortal coil and become one with Cyber City. Yeah. So, I think that pretty much wraps up the Cyber City talk. It's real good. Yeah, it's real good. Yeah, really good. Go watch that shit. <laughs> but, I mean, I, sure, yeah. yeah well, go watch it again. Yeah, because you watch probably it already again. Seen. Watch the dub. So you, you actively sought line. out a podcast about Cyber City 08808. Welcome to Cyber City Cast. Oh, no. Um, we have to watch it every episode and then talk about it again for 45 minutes. It's like that thing where those guys did the thing. Yes, that's, they did that. No pod, no, tra- no cross-pack podcast promotion. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. That's the original idea. Um, so, wrapping up Cyber City, we like it. What do you guys have on your plate? Are you guys watching anything? Anything coming up that you guys are hmm. you, you watching? I'm uh, waiting for the next episode of Ori Monogatari. Oh, yeah. When is it going to come out, man? Uh, you got to you enunciate, it, bro. <laughs> I, I just, I was in the middle of watching like seven or something when I Wait, so came seven did come out? Yes. Damn it. I've been like checking every single Watch, fucking Look night. at Anna Chart. Like, I don't know these things. You, we showed you actively that you should check Anna Chart to find out when Ori Monogatari will be updated. Okay. Us, uh, Declan, what do you say? You suck, Steven. You, you still watching that Kekai Sensen? I'm still watching everything. Because you're a monster. Because I have I've lost control of my life. I mean, you never had control. Dude, you never <laughs> even no had breaks. your life. Dude. <laughs> no, like, I, I'm. I'm currently like watch like I have some shows on the list, but I will only watch it if I am under the influence of alcoholic beverages. You're a, you're a different kind of monster. <laughs> so like you want to give us a quick rundown on what Ori Monogatari is. Ori Monogatari is this really nice story about you know a very unique character. Like I've never seen a show with a character like this. Uh, what his name is? You know it. I'm terrible with names, by the way. Um, I don't who, big, big, Bigo or something. Big guy man. Big guy man. Big so guy, yeah. he's he's a really good guy, and and the show goes out of its way to constantly show you what a good guy he is. I mean, always and he's huge. I I think I read that he's supposed to be like two hundred sixty pounds, six foot five, freshman in high so school. So like a normal American then. Yes. I mean, I almost remember no, no, that's one that we know, but no one else knows. Um, Anyway, it was Killing like it. always doing just heroic things. What is when... it? What is his goal? What is he doing, Stephen? Keep, He's... No, <laughs> keep, 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 I want to hear you describe this character that everybody already knows about for about ten <laughs> more minutes, please. It'll be amazing. All right, do um, it. He meets this girl, and he thinks she's really pure, and they start dating. <laughs> Wait, and she's not so pure. You're setting this up real weird. <laughs> this is not the plot of the show at all. No, like, but it is up to the episode that I saw. I like this, this show. The this, the show. This is not. He she's so. Like, pure. You're making so this sound. Your favorite thing about her. You're making this into a completely different show. <laughs> no, but I'm not wrong. <laughs> you're making this sound like the premise of the show is he starts dating this girl that he thinks is pure, and then the whole time she's trying to keep like some kind of horrible prostitution career from no, him or no, something. No, no, no. But that was the plot of like episode six. Yeah, like, you're describing the... the plot of one episode, <laughs> and it turns out, and it I turns thought... out her impurity is she wants to cuddle in old hands. Huddle in. Get no is this show about people who make pizza. <laughs> yes. They do it in one episode. No, Ginnosaji is about a man who is tasked with creating pizza for his class. And he has to figure out how. And like, him making it sound like that's the entire show. Even, even Gillian is a show about dancing. It's about DR. It's teamwork. Cowboy oh, uh, Samurai Shampoo is a show about a bunch of samurai who meet a bunch smoke of Americans and, and smoke weed and play baseball. It's the best ever. It's so great. So, so Declan, what are you watching? I'm I, like I said, Kekai. just you name it, I'm watching it. I okay. like, yeah, I like Cake Guy Sense. I, it's really I, good. It's just all over the place, so it doesn't make any sense. But I like it. It's got heart. I am watching, or can we do attempt to? I've been watching uh, Hitamari Sketch. You, yeah, you. I, I, feel I like you've always been. I watching practically that. forced you to start watching Hitamari Sketch because it's the best. It's it's the best. And you started, and you've made it through the first, the first season. season and the first season specials. Over the course of like six or eight months. I'm still playing Persona 4 a year later. No. <laughs> I'm halfway through the game. Oh boy. I'm working at a snail's pace. But I, um, <laughs> I'm going to attempt to force myself to watch Glass Slip, Glass Slip this week. Ugh. So Steven, Glass Slip is a universally maligned show that nobody likes. <laughs> I've, I've never... <laughs> yeah, no, I've really never seen... I won't watch things that everybody likes. Let me, think I let, watch me, that. let me explain to you something about the anime community. If you give them like a plate covered in like actual shit, they will like they don't need like they don't even need like silverware. They will just they will just shovel it into their mouths 
and they can't stop. They have they don't have they don't have the biological uh, uh, responses that tell you like yeah maybe this taste but maybe I should stop. No, they just keep going, and everybody still somehow hates glass lip universally almost. I it's amazing. Now here's the thing I <laughs> watched. No, because I don't watch. I watched like ten minutes. I was like, yeah, this is fuck, man. So I've already seen like like five episodes or something. Five or six episodes of the show, and I was I didn't find it that horribly offensive. It's like PA Works decided to make a parody of PA Works yeah. shows because it's <laughs> fucking gorgeous and it's absolutely nothing. It's it's <laughs> like the most. It's like a supermodel. The most benign. <laughs> it's like a supermodel. It's beautiful. But on the other side, it's just fucking hollow. It'll just just make you fall asleep every time. Like even even the first few episodes of Hyoka were more interesting than this garbage. It's it's you know, like I, I kind of like this now. I I might watch Glass. Steven, Lip. I will get. Oh. The, I will report back on no, how. No, Steven, on it's how not. Glass Lip it's is. not like it's the Order of a Rabbit. It's like actually boring. I um, oh, no. And I, 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 nothing happens unless this show takes a Apparently. horrible turn. I can't imagine how people hate this thing so much. It just seems like a really inoffensive, like, rom... Not even com, just a rom, like a romantic show hmm. about a dude who could apparently time travel or some bullshit. Wait, what? What? Oh, yeah. That's it, something. I didn't know there was that. And then she can see slips in time through glass. Or apparently, <sighs> allegedly. All right. Allegedly. Oh. I haven't seen it. I didn't know this shit got so deep. I thought it was... Just um, the shit, the shit he goes so deep. Oh man, you have to burrow through just mounds of shit. So many shit allegories, yeah. metaphors. This episode. Um, yeah. Perfect. So yeah, yeah. it's well, anime is like a giant shit heap. I'm trying to think of the yeah. last PA work show that wasn't garbage. There None was, of them. There was Uchiten Kazuku, which people liked. Still kind of boring, even though it was like really whimsical. It shouldn't have been boring, but PA work still managed to kind of fuck it up a little bit. I tried to watch Red Data Girl. <laughs> that show was nothing. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I make boring shows. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna try to fucking. I'm gonna watch Glass Live and then do a chaser of Hitamari Sketch there to keep go. my sanity going. That's what you did for a while, Stephen, right? What do you mean? You you would you would watch like some some you would watch a deep meaningful show and then you would chase it down with some horrible oh, moe shit. What did I do? Uh. <laughs> Gosh, yeah, I did do that. I f- well, it wasn't. Oh, you haven't seen Code Geass. It was. Um... No, I I rewatched Evangelion. Oh right, right. I right. rewatched Evangelion after like not seeing it for like a year, or two years. Like I. Re- you picked the wrong time to do that too, because the Blu-rays are coming out soon. I, 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 I do it again. You. I was fuck. like, <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna watch it again. It's one of my favorite things ever. Um, and then in like so I watched it like all in like three days. And then I immediately started Strike Witches. Yeah, you just had a gun in your mouth and you pressed the, the space bar and started to watch Strike Witches. <laughs> and no, like every it, minute you brought it a little <laughs> bit further out of your mouth. It's like, yes. this is incredible. No, it, it's, My life. They're very around. similar shows though. And I know, I know, abs- I know, absolutely. I know allegedly likes Strike Witches, but you, you can't blame him because it's actually a fantastic show. He, 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 Strike Anno, Witches. Anno and, and fucking apparently George Bush need to get together and talk about Strike right. Witches. So, that would be a better podcast. Welcome to the Strike Witches <laughs> fan cast. I'm your host, George W. Bush. So does me. Here today with my co-host, Hideaki Anno. I, I, I don't know what that means, but I love panties. So does. No, I, I didn't like Strike Witches. Like, now this is something I don't typically do with anime. I usually just watch a show, forget about it, watch something else. I like Strike Witches so much that I then immediately watched the second season. It's so and watchable. And then watched, like, the OVAs and shit. Like, oh, I've yeah. seen all of it. You, you just watch, like, ten episodes in a row. It's just, you never get bored. I don't. It's, it's fantastic. It's really entertaining. You wouldn't expect it to be. But it's great. It's everything I've ever asked for. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best the universe has to offer. Girls, this is it. It's all over. Panties. No pants. No pants. If you're from Britain, no pants. There's no trousers. No trousers. Undergarments. Wait, there are, there are there undergarments. Are, there are plenty of those. Uh, right. Some tights. It's good. So. All right. And just flying around. <laughs> we should let you guys know right now, uh, because we're making references to Great Britain. We're in Canada. So. Yeah, we can't. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hey, uh, we're can in you pass uh, the maple syrup over there? Oh, sure, it's bro. On the, here. It's on the. It's on the yeah, maple. Here, just let me grab this. <laughs> okay. Shit. <laughs> so that's my ten-gallon drum of maple syrup. I hope the Leafs do well. Are the Leafs still in the playoffs? I don't know. What? Oh, the teams. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Um, I was wondering about them. 
<laughs> so this is gonna. This, <laughs> these are the lamest jokes. So this is gonna do it for the uh, the the fucking strike the strike witches fan cast. All right. I've been your host George W. Bush. So Disney. And that was Hideaki Anno. Y'all have a good night. <laughs> Wait, what's take what's taking us out? I believe it's the I believe it's the opening to Cyber City Oeda, which if you remember we were talking about before. We talked about it for a little bit. A little bit. No. Um, but yeah. This is yeah, the opening to that, which is called something I don't know. Inside what, Identity. Bur- burning world just burning world. See ya. That's what the life was like after I left office. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst George Bush impression. This doesn't make any sense.
Thank you.